What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be teaching you JavaScript arrays. And so an array is basically a value which can hold more than one value so it can have multiple values. And so arrays are usually used for lists and so let's say they want to create a list of different cars. Well what we do is we create let's say I don't know three variables and then it would be different brand of cars. So let car one and then so that would be something and I'm going to just copy it three times. I'm going to change this car two and car three and now I'm just going to write the name so BMW let's do Bugatti, and let's do a Ferrari. And so instead of creating three variables, what we could do is we could create one variable which is going to have all of these three values. So what we'll do is we can just delete this. Let's create a new variable. So let's, I'm going to make, going to name it cars because there's going to have multiple values instead of car, but you can name it whatever you want, of course. So let cars. So that's going to be equal to. And here what we're going to do is we're going to use the square brackets. And so now we're going to write our variable. So we're going to have um, our variable here, one variable here, a comma, and then here we're going to add the other variable. And so we can add as many variables as we want, but, but I'm going to just do three. So let's set this one to BMW, this one to Bugatti, it's Bugatti, and the last one to Ferrari, like this. And let's see what happens when we try to console it out. So console log, let's do cars. And now let's see what happens. So as you can see, we have our BMW, Bugatti, and Ferrari. So it works. And it says three here. And that's basically the number of values we have here. And if we actually cl click this, then you can see that we get this right here. And the numbers here, so zero and one and two, that's basically the numbers that um, our variables are. So let's say that wants to uh, select a specific value here. And so what we would use is we would use the numbers here so 0 and 1 and 2 and so if we want to select our BMW here what we would do is we would add the square brackets and then we would add 0 and that's because um, every single array it starts with 0 and in any other program language any arrays will always start from 0 and that's how it works so this one would be 0 our Bugatti would be number one and Ferrari number two. Let's see what happens when we try to print out cars and then the first value. And so let's see. And as you can see that we've printed BMW and so it works. And so the way we would print out Ferrari is basically the same way. So let's count it one, two, three, and we can subtract one. So that would be two. And now if we go back here, you can see that it worked. And what we could also do is, um, let's see. So we could also do something like this. So we would delete this. And so we we'll just let cars equal to array. And we can also set the um, values here. So what we'll do is we'll just write cars, whoops, cars, and then the number that we want our value to be. So I'm going to start with zero. And this is going to be equal to BMW, of course, or some different brand, whatever. Um, and then we'll do something like car two. So cars, um, the second value, that would be equal to Bugatti, and so on. Um, and we can also set this to something else. So let's say they want Bugatti to actually be number two. Then this is what would happen. Let's actually console log this and see what happens. So uh, cars, and when we go back here, you can see that we have BMW, empty, and a Bugatti. And that's because we've only set our, our number zero and then our number two, and we haven't set our number uh, one here or the second value. And so what we get is we get an empty. And if we set this to, let's say, 10, then we would have nine empties. So as you can see here, we get nine empties. And yeah, so I don't know if anyone really needs that, but yeah, um, let's actually set this back. So cars to. That would be Ferrari, like this, and let's see if it still works. So if I want to uh, choose my Ferrari, what I, what I would do is I would look here, and you can see that it's going to be number two. So I would write number two, and as you can see, it still works. And what we can also do is we can change our values here. So I'm just going to copy this, set it back to what it was. So cars, do this. Um, let's see, Actually, do this. Change. I don't know, one of the cars. So what I would do, or what we would do is write uh, cars, the number that I want to select. So let's change our BMW. So number zero. 
and so we'll just set it equal to and then the value we want it to be so let's just see if it works first so i don't know let's set this to bmw uh 101 or actually let's just set it to bmw1 to see if it works and let's print out cars and right here you can see that we've successfully changed it so this is how you can change a variable so let's say that i don't know wanted our second value to be bmw1 then we will just do this and as you can see we've changed it. and we can also set variables or create new variables which will be equal to the car's value so i don't know let's say that i wanted to create a car so let car brand i don't know and then let's say they wanted our uh, variable here to equal to one of these brands well what we do is we we'll just um right so let the name of the variable equal to and then the name of our um array here so cars are square brackets and then the number that I want it to be so let's set this one to one which would be our bugatti and now let's see what happens when i print out car brand and as you can see it says bugatti so this is how we can create um, variables and then set their value to equal to uh, one of the values inside of an array now let's create an array which has multiple variables or different types of variables so Let's create, uh, let's do let person. And so that's going to be equal to. And now we're going to do the name. We can do, uh, and let's do actually, let's just do their name and their age. So let's try uh, Bob. And then his age is going to be 25. And now let's see what happens when I log it out. So log uh, person. Whoops. Let's go back here. Person. When I go here, you can see that it still works the same way, but here we just have two different values. And if if we actually take a look here, you can see that it says length. So that's actually a method that we could use. So um, let's actually go back to the cars because it was a bit longer. So what we could do is we could actually print out its length. And so this is pretty useful uh, for, I don't know, for if, if statements and stuff like that. Um, but it's pretty cool. So car brand or actually like cars and we could do we add the period and then length 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 like this and so now when we go back you can see that it says three so that just says the amount of uh values we have here and this is really useful like i said before in if statements so we could do something like uh if uh i don't know cars dot length equals to two then we could do cars uh, and then let's do number two equal to Ferrari like this right and then I'll do something else right so let's see if it actually works so we can remove this and let's actually log out here so um, log out cars so what's happening here is we're creating a an array which has two variables or sorry two values the first one is bmw second one's bugatti and under here we have an if statement and so what it's doing is it's shaking it's checking the um our array's length and so if it's equal to two then what it's going to do is it's going to create a new value so our third value so number two here and we're setting it to ferrari and then we're just logging it out. So let's see if it works. Um, and if we go back here, you can see that it works. And we can actually console log this here before we do that. And you can see that it starts with having two values to having three values. And so let's say that I wanted to add another value to an array and it had a lot of values and we didn't want to do any of that stuff. Um, and, it also, and it also was a const. So what we could do is we write, cars or the name of our array period and then push and so this is basically like adding another uh value so push and then we're just going to write the name so let's do ferrari and let's see if it works so i'm going to log out um let's see cars now let's go back and you can see that bmw got in ferrari and if i actually do this so we're creating our array here and it's it's also a cons so you can push uh, new values even when an array is a const. So uh, we're creating an array here with two values and we're console logging it. 
And then after we console logging it, we're pushing another value, which would be our Ferrari. And so we're console cons, uh, logging it after to see if it changed. So you can see that it went from having two values to having three values. And what we did is we just used this push method. So we can also mo uh, push multiple values. So uh, let's do BMW, Bugatti, Ferrari, and I don't know. Let's do uh, Audi. I don't know. Um, and so let's see if it works. So you can see that now we have four values. So you can actually push multiple values. So that's pretty cool. And the last thing I'm going to be going over right now is going to be the pop. And that's basically the opposite of push. So let's write cars.pop. Whoops, pop. And what it's going to do is it's going to remove the last variable that we have here. So uh, right here, we have an array with three values. But after we use the pop method, we should have only two. And these are the only two values that we're going to have. And so actually, I'm going to open this again. I don't know why I closed it. And when we go back here, then you can see that um, let's restart. I'll reset, but you can see that now we only have two variables, and so yeah, and doesn't matter how many actually values we have. So I don't know. I'll just copy and paste this multiple times. So it doesn't matter how many values we have. It's always gonna remove the last one we have. So let's do like something like this. Um, and so the last one right now is gonna be Bugatti. And so after we pop the value that we're gonna or the last value that we will have is going to be the BMW. And let's see if it works. So when I go back here, you can see that we have seven here and the last one's gonna be BMW. And before we pop, it was Bugatti. And so this is gonna be for this video. So if you guys have any questions, then leave a comment down below. Like this video if you liked this. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this and see you in the next video.